What's up YouTube? It's Dr. Zora here and what we're going to talk about today is stretch resolution in Fortnite. So stretch resolution used to be super common in Fortnite. It gave you more vertical FOV, it also gave you more FPS and made the game feel a lot smoother overall. But in today's Fortnite, you don't get that vertical FOV anymore and you actually lose horizontal FOV. So there's not much of a reason to use it now, right? Not quite. But what we have with the stretch resolution still is the FPS and smoothness factor. So some people are still using stretch resolutions for that reason and we're going to try a couple of the older Fortnite resolutions and see if those are still viable or if other people are using new resolutions in Fortnite Chapter 2. Alright so the first resolution that we tried was a 1600 by 1080 and personally this actually felt pretty similar to how this resolution was previously with the vertical FV boost. So obviously you don't have that anymore and the horizontal FV goes down a little bit. But in terms of smoothness of the game, I thought it still felt pretty similar despite the character models being a little bit bigger now and a little bit more squished and taking up more of the screen than previously. I also noticed that with this resolution that my mouse didn't actually line up with the inventory or the lobby screen. So that's just another issue that I found that kind of bothered me a little bit. But other than that, the resolution was still pretty decent but again losing that horizontal FOV. Alright, so next up we have 1444 by 1080 and this is probably the most popular resolution that was used back when stretch resolution was still a thing. Now I actually think this is, again, it feels super smooth, even smoother than 1600 by 1080 and this is kind of the big balance between rogue of FOV and not making your screen look as crappy. So again, I thought this was like really smooth resolution, again you're losing the horizontal FOV but I think the look still looks pretty decent and playable. But again, knowing that the FOV is going to go down horizontally. Alright, next we have the 1280 by 1080 Now this was a resolution that I think a lot of European players actually tried out. Most people from many actually stuck with the 1444 by 1080 and then just kept it at that. It was a good balance between graphics and how much vertical FOV you get. This one, again, gives you even more vertical FOV back in the past, but obviously not anymore. I felt like the horizontal FOV that I lost was a little bit too big now with the changes and my aim felt super awkward like this shotgun shot wasn't even close, the other second shot not even close again and then I got a, a lot of free shots that I gave to the opponent and I pretty much used all my mats and was kind of screwed from here on so definitely not, not a res that I was used to at all and I think that definitely with the new meta, with the new changes, this is not really a viable resolution anymore. Alright, and lastly we have the stretches stretch res that we could get 1080 by 1080. This was this very uncommonly used one, but I know some of the big EU pros again were really going for as much stretch as they could actually tolerate. And Mongo was actually one of the players that used 1080 by 1080 and he performed really well with it. I actually thought the 1080 by 1080 felt a lot smoother than the 1280 by 1080. My building was a little bit cleaner and my aiming was actually pretty decent compared to when I had 1280 by 1080. I felt like I was hitting the shots a lot more than with the 1280 by 1080 Building was again smooth Now they able to grab a couple of kills here So I actually thought this resolution wasn't too bad And it definitely was a little bit better than the 1280 by 1080 But of course it's all again by preference But again these characters are looking humongous here as you can see So definitely again the horizontal FV loss Not very viable in today's Fortnite in 2020 that's all I have for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, come on. Give me a comment on what kind of videos you'd like to see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alright, brother. Thank you.